Next up, we have Mike Zacher. Um, okay, so I'm Mike from Vasco. We're a software house located in Poland. We have 15 developers, and recently we're focusing on a project that we call Universe or UniCMS. And today I would like to tell you a little bit about the project, and we're most interested in your feedback uh, and how, how we could help you with developing for project further. So uh, first I'll tell you why we built Universe, then uh, what the Universe is, and then I'll show you a quick, quick demo of the system and, and our roadmap. Uh, so, uh, at our software house, we had uh, some problem with code maintenance. We had some projects that w we were supporting for a long time, a few years, and with every change that we were doing, uh, actually the, the complexity of the project was increasing. So we wanted to have architecture that would simplify the, the maintenance, uh, that would make the projects more st streamlined and to simplify the, the complex projects. Uh, we also wanted to increase the re reusability of the code. If you have uh, a few developers working on a few projects, it's actually a challenge to uh, make sure that everything can be reusable and can be used on on different projects. Uh, then also we wanted to improve the bootstrapping and this is especially useful for uh, small projects that you want to build in, like, in a few hours uh, and then maybe extend in the future. So we decided to build a, a package ecosystem that would actually allow us to, to meet those goals. And uh, you could say that Universe is, uh, uh, there are actually two sets of packages. Uh, first one uh, is the low-level uh, system of packages that uh, actually provides you with functionalities which are um, which can can work independently, but also uh, together they actually provide uh, functionalities that uh, give you something more. Uh, then on top of uh, those library packages, we have something which we call plugins, which are actually uh, plug and play, and they provide functionalities like uh, blogs, chats, forums, uh, uh, like high-level uh, functionalities. Um, all of this um, is built with the module architecture. We want to make sure that uh, we can reuse those elements as much as possible. Um, and uh, we also use the React uh, as the default front-end. Uh, Universe also provides you with some uh, basic code base uh, to, to build uh, your applications quicker. Uh, the basic building blocks of Universe are I think those three. Actually, we have about 30 packages on Atmosphere, but if you would like to start um, and check how Universe works, I would advise you to start with uh, those first two packages. First one is uh, something which we could call uh, Meteor Collections on Steroids. Uh, we built all the low-level functionalities based on uh, on, on this package. Uh, second one, uh, it provides you with Eggman script modules uh, in Meteor, and uh, this package actually provides you with more modular architecture. And third one uh, is an actual CMS that uh, gives you um, ability to create some, some basic elements really quickly. Um, so uh, this is actually the, the screenshot of uh, the Blaze version of the um, website that was built with the universe. Um, here, on this version, we had uh, functionalities like uh, messages, activity stream, uh, some simple uh, blocks, simple uh, projects, events, um, and all, all the modules that were here you, you could actually reuse um, and uh, like build different projects based on them. Uh, we decided to move to, to React, and in, in React we already have uh, some basic functionalities like uh, registration, like uh, admin panel, uh, some basic uh, profile management, and also some basic modules. Uh, and right now we're in the process of rebuilding uh, all of uh, the functionalities from the Blaze version into the, the React version. And the, the roadmap is uh, to... Um, well, first, uh, next week we'll be launching the incremental loading of modules. Uh, then we're actually going to focus on, on the uh, CMS version of the, uh, of the system and, and on uh, the part that will actually allow us to build the simple websites quickly. Uh, then we'll launch code generators and uh, in the end we'll focus on the uh, documentation. Uh, we'll be also releasing uh, more features uh, with, with the new versions. Um, Actually, we had a presentation in, in London in June, so the changes from this presentation to the current version are that we have basic React support, we have integration with semantic UI, uh, we also have a lot of improvements in the current system, and uh, a lot of low-level packages like uh, language support, uh, and NPM module integration, and a lot of other things. And 
if you would like to actually follow the progress of the universe, you can check uh, our website. Um, and we'll be also launching a poll to, to actually check uh, what features would be most useful for you. Uh, we plan to actually take this into consideration when we'll be extending the platform. So thank you very much.